When electric scooters crash, well, the implications depend on whose fault the crash is. Uh, if an electric scooter is involved in a crash with a motor vehicle and it's the motor vehicle's fault, then absolutely you've got a claim against that motor vehicle. Call the police immediately, make sure they come to the scene, they document everything in a police report, assess your injuries. If you need to get emergency medical care, go to the emergency room, contact a personal injury attorney, call 1-800-TRIAL-PRO as soon as possible. We can usually get you into a doctor the same day you call us, even if you don't have insurance. And remember, if you're riding a scooter when you get involved in one of these collisions, your own car insurance isn't gonna apply. So your PIP benefits, your personal injury protection benefits aren't going to kick in. So it's even more important to call an attorney so that we can use our medical connections to make sure you get the treatment you need even if you don't have insurance. Now, if you yourself are on a scooter and you cause a crash, better hope the other side's not injured because I'm not aware of any specific type of insurance that's gonna protect you. Certainly your car insurance is not gonna protect you because a scooter is not fall under the definition of a motor vehicle under any car insurance policy I've ever read in my lifetime. Additionally, I'm not sure that your home insur homeowner's insurance is gonna protect you. You'd have to look closely at your homeowner's insurance and see if uh, that would be a covered event or an excluded event. You could find yourself in a situation where if you're on a scooter and you cause an injury to someone else, you don't have any insurance protection, and now you might personally be liable for whatever damages you caused. If you have questions about your electric scooter collision, just give us a call at 1-800-TRIAL-PRO or chat with us live at trialpro.com.